My first guest is the hauntingly handsome star of the popular medical drama Code Black. Take a look. I guess the elevations are diffused. This isn't a heart attack. This is pericarditis. That explains the heart rate. What is this rash? It's poison oak. It's on depressor. That's poison oak. Dr. Dixon, take a look in here. Tell me what you see. Public spots. Measles. Correct. And you just exposed our most critical patients to it. Layton, get her isolated now. Go, 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 go. Please welcome the ghoulishly good-looking Boris Kojo. Can, can you come out every show and just say that? Of course, I will. Yeah, even no if you're problem. in a suit or something. It's my pleasure. Yeah. yeah. How you doing, man? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Oh, listen, it's so it's so good to see you. Congratulations on, on the show. Thanks, Boris. Yes. Oh, oh, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Here, Boris, you, yeah. have to, uh, you have to tell me about your name, because I grew up with what I thought was a lot of names, right? Tell me all your names. Okay, Joseph. Joseph. Harry. Harry. Fowler. Fowler. Connick. Connick Junior. Junior. Now I thought okay. I, I thought I had a lot of names until I found out what your complete name was. Can you tell the people what it is? All right, you got to repeat it with me, okay? Boris. Boris. Frederick. Frederick. Cecil. Cecil. Tenate o Fuerte Kojo. Tenate o Fuerte Kojo. That's pretty good. Well, that's good. I got a smart audience. <laughs> yes. My um, my my father my father's from Ghana. Okay. I'm from Germany, my mom's German. And so my father, uh, it's tradition in Ghana that you give the kids uh, 700,000 names. <laughs> now you have children, Boris? I have two, two kids. Now how old are they? Sophie is, uh, Sophie Tenaki Lee. Oh, that's beautiful. Is uh, 11 and a half, and Nicholas is nine. Wow, and, and are they into Halloween? Nicholas was born on Halloween. Wow! <laughs> So he, uh, we told him from when he was a baby, we told him that Halloween actually was invented because of him. I love it. So he claims Halloween as his own personal party. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah. Now, were you into it as a kid? See, I, I grew up in Germany, so we didn't have Halloween. We had um, something close to what you guys have down south, uh, uh, carnival, fashing, right. we call it. Okay. So it's two weeks in February. And what did y'all do? Um, it's very deeply rooted in Black Forest tradition. I'm from the Black Forest with wooden masks and oh wow and a lot of violence. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I don't know why. Swords and a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Wow. And, and how old were you when you left Germany? I left when I was 19, 20. So you were there your whole life. I was there my whole life. Yeah. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah. I don't know anybody who can say they're from the Black Forest. That just sounds like you have like. Superpowers or something. I, I do have superpowers. Yeah, like a dragon Actually, at home yeah. or something like we that. We slay dragons all day. Now, that's right. When when you came to the states, you must have had an accent, I would imagine. Right? I had a terrible accent. I sounded I sounded gross. Yeah, it was. I couldn't really speak English that well. I, I sounded like Arnold, a little bit. Give us a, a sample of what your accent. Tell said. me what to say. Say I'll... like I'm having a great time here on your Halloween special. Uh, I'm having a, a a good time here on the Hollywood special. <laughs> It's hard, it's hard to believe. And so you had to practice that, I guess. That's how I got into acting. Really? Yes, because I, I, I wanted to lose my accent, so I went to acting class. Because, you know, do you do the breathing exercises and everything. Yeah. And uh, that's how I slowly started to lose my accent. But I didn't do I any of that. That's why I sound like this. <laughs> <laughs> More with Boris when we come back. Stick around, folks. Stick around. 